Good day to one and all on this fine Friday morning. It's it's pretty uh it's a little nippy, 53 degrees at 11.50. We're heading into town. Um, I hope everybody's ready for the eclipse here uh, Sunday afternoon. I hope you're in a good spot. And uh, obviously, don't forget your glasses. I just got some in the mail. And uh, I remember last last one that came around several years ago, I, I wasn't prepared. And fortunately enough, a guy next to me had an extra pair. I was like, cool. And uh, so I bought a bunch. I got 20 pairs for 75 cents a piece. Took two weeks to get them, but I planned ahead. So I'm going to hand some of those out to some unsuspecting uh, people. All right, let's get to it. We're going to get to town and uh, see what's going on. Got uh, got some prepared lunches and we're ready to roll. Supplies, etc. All right. See you in a bit. Hey, buddy, would you like a water? Yes. Very much so. I was going in to get one. I got uh, I got some lunches. You hungry? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just out riding around. Okay. Hey, what's your name? Ricky. Ricky, nice to meet you, bud. Here, let me give you a quick card. I seen you walking up the street. I figured you might need some uh, something to drink. Oh, yeah, well, thanks. I was going in to get some. All I'm right. Head to the cemetery to see my mother. All right. Well, have a good day. How's it going, buddy? Good. What's the word on the street, man? Any, anything new and exciting? County. You just got out of county? Yeah. Like just today? Yeah. No shit. Well, you want water? Uh, so, what about a lunch? Huh? What about a lunch? Are you hungry? Go. <laughs> I got some food. Uh -huh. you know, let me give you a card. I don't want to freak you out. Here you go. Yeah, I just drive around helps people. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I got some lunches. Um, do you need any supplies like hygiene items? Like uh, deodorant or uh, socks? Right You're good? Yeah. Okay. I'm just waiting on my mother to come get me. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Yeah. <laughs> Better than sitting over there at that other gas station. So, Better yeah. sitting up around here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right up, the, yeah. <laughs> get as far away from there as you can, out of sight. You know. Uh, so, how long were you in? Uh, 50 days. 50 days? So, everything go alright? Yeah. So, yeah. Alrighty. Then I'll let you get about your business, wait for your ride, and I'm going to go in the store. So, all right, you got it, buddy. Are you are you heading down the road here? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Providence Ministry. Trying to get over to Providence? Yes. All right, hey, go down to this corner right here and take a left. Okay. We can talk. How you doing, sir? Hey, man, how's it going? My name is Michael Whitlow. Yeah, I met you the other day. Yes, sir. And I'm yeah. trying to get the great work to eat, and I didn't make it to the barbecue. I know. I was and, there. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't make it. You know, care of this here stuff, and I right. appreciate it. Well, let me move some stuff around. I'll give you a ride over there. Yeah, you can. Does that sound all right? Yes, sir. I know. My mom's got the same one. It folds right up. Okay. Yeah, no problem. All right, give me a few minutes. <laughs> no, I'm going to put it in the back seat. Yeah, okay. I just got to move all this stuff. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hey, you want a water in the meantime? Well, I get one when we get there. Well, you want one now? You want, I got some drinks. I get one. All right. you want, drinks, whatever you, you want. You want one now? Yeah. I well, what do you want? I got Dr. Pepper. I got Sprite. I'll take Dr. Pepper. All right. Enough said. I got you. All right. Thank you. No problem. Let me uh, let me pop my trunk here. It's going to be a few minutes here. Let me... uh, I got a lot of stuff. I got to move around. Do you like oranges? The heel. Thing, oh yeah, yeah. You like oranges? Yes. Man. Here you go, man. I don't know how we gonna put it all in here. Where are you staying, Michael? Yeah. I'm homeless. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Do you gotta? Well, I mean, you gotta stay somewhere. Yeah, I stay back there, probably. Okay. Was, like, did they have a shelter over there? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this in the see, trunk. The shelter they got is for people been in trouble. I'm not in no trouble. Oh. Okay. And I go right there in the problem when I eat and I sleep on the back. That's what I do. Oh. Until the thing get better, you know. Income. Right, give me a second. I'm gonna put him in the back. You can sit in the front. You me getting around, all right? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna walk on down there. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the hood, I can tell you the mic don't fool with dog. How long you been okay. out on the road, man? I've been sending my wife passed away five years ago, and everything was took for me. Sorry. Money, housing, cars. You can go that way, be to Providence. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bitch, you going with on these lights? Yeah, I'll just wait. That's just me. It'll be there in mm -hmm. a few minutes. I had to go to Chattanooga, but I made it. I got to go back Thursday. And I didn't know this. Thursday to Chattanooga? Happen. How you going to get there? Well, I have someone that I already paid. Oh. going to take me. Yeah. All right, cool. Call your friend. What is it? I ain't got no friend. Right. Where your family at? I don't have no family up here. Number my wife and the stepchildren, grandchildren. Where are you from originally? Monticello. That's in between Atlanta and Macon. Okay. Where there's no Walmart. There's <laughs> no place. Where, there's where no you, Walmart. It's not. It, it, That's it's unusual. not one. If you homeless, you got to make it on your own. Unless you want to go to Macon. Covington, back up Eway. Between it's Atlanta small and town. Macon, I got some. I got some step family in uh in uh, Robbins. Morton Roberts. Yeah. Yes sir. I went to school all back then in Albany. And when I moved up here forty years ago I met a lady that was twenty years older than me. Looked like Tina Turner. Well. Wow. And through the thing went on and stuff. And I said, Well we can't live in sin like this, so we got married. We had been going thirty, she passed away at seventy seven. We didn't have a wheel. December twenty fourth when I got up and worked, I told my wife I'm gonna look at Gunsmoke, Fred Stanford, and the Griffin. Take a shower, say my prayer. 30 minutes later, my wife passed me in my own. Oh, Lord, you be. Fear where I in Whitfield County Jail for nothing. So, anyway, make a long story shot at more than that. So, I went to the liquor store. And I drunk me a pint of gin. And when I got home on Boulder Street, it was a detective car. In the door? Yeah, on the door. Yeah. I don't want to think about it. I'm the first suspect. Nah, yep, like, oh, anybody, yeah, anybody, mm -hmm. the person who calls 911 and mm -hmm. the husband mm -hmm. or, or me, wife. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that, that would have my whole life changed. Matter of fact, you can have that one if you need one. Thank you. Yeah. That, that would have my whole child, my whole life changed. And stuff like that, you know, and really, it took me two years to believe that my wife wasn't coming back. I could be riding in the car, my wife would be right there. I could be in a store, I could see her there, the plane today. Did the plane today. Man, that's it, horrible, man. Yeah, and when I first met her, I said, I always love you till your hair turned gray. She stopped down her hair. And then your vibes, it said, until death do you bar. It's not like walking in that building and see, you see a body in your own. That's horrible. When I'm the last face she seen, Beside Jesus, angels. And she didn't want it this way, but it happened. How long ago did this happen? Five years ago. Five years ago? Mm -hmm. You've been on the street ever since? Five years. Wow. And then, you know, when a medical issue happened, you know, when your health started going down, you ain't got nobody lean on but Jesus. Yeah. And they put that gas on me and all that morphine and pill when I couldn't use the bathroom for seven days. Stuck a capitalist up in my ding lean It was just like a pistol he raised and I didn't know that. When I got rid of the P man that was so horrible, horrible, it hurt so bad. Oh, I'm sure. Muscle spam and stuck me in my stomach for 22 days to keep the blood, you know, from clotting. So in the book before that happened when I was laying on that table, I said, geez, you done put me to sleep. And woke me up for 63 years. Let me be able to get up and walk again. And I can walk. That's beautiful. Yeah. And see, people don't you. know. People, you know, you got all kind of religion, whatever. See, you got to testify every day. You got to ask Jesus to forgive for your sin. The sin you did yesterday. The sin that you don't do. I know that's the bill. <laughs> The one you're gonna do. Yeah, the same as you're gonna do. Everybody gonna see it. Somebody gonna get off today with a pocket full of money. They gonna see it. Know what they gonna do? Go to the liquor store. Oh, it's Friday, yeah. Friday. Right. Well, that happens every day. Mm -hmm. But if you're in the big market, a big time joker, you out here searching and lurking. See, I'd have had all that. I had new car, money. They took that too. And it all went away after your wife died. Went all the way. I can show you right there on my phone, my house right there, for, it worth a hundred and some thousand dollars. Man. But I don't get damn penny. Now you think about that. A hundred and some thousand dollars? Because when you marry, it become one. 
them strays on the outside and stuff like that, they ain't no good. Well, That's one of your greatest blessings for a man and wife to be husband and wife. Mm -hmm. If, I mean, how did you end up with nothing? I mean, if they... We didn't, we didn't have a wheel, right? So when death happened and money involved, people, some kids to you, you don't even know. And they did the, what's called a bully act. And I couldn't afford no lawyer because I had to quit my job. Oh, I yeah, get you. Then I went to a lawyer and I told him, I said, sure I could beat this cave by myself. I paid him what I had, 200 something dollars, then he told me, well, we can't beat this cave. He gave my money back. That's really that when it just all this. So it was her kin. Her estate. But her stepchildren was not a Whitlow. She was a Whitlow. They were bonds. See what I'm saying? Yeah. When, when, when you get married, children got to step out. You know, like flying in a nest. Like a bird, you got to fly away. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 Apparently that, they didn't fly too far. <laughs> they didn't agree with it. They call money be the root of all evil. That's for sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out of putting these bridges so I can get all my papers and stuff. Yeah, we'll get you together, man. Yep, that's what happened. That's my life history. I'll bring you right up front. Mm -hmm. yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's get your stuff. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Right. Here you go, Michael. Let me give you another card. All right, thank Just you. Just let you know. You gonna be all right? One, is it? No. No, just my email address. No, I don't have that kind of phone. <laughs> oh, no? You know, okay. the email and the stuff. Okay, all right. thank you. Well, you're, looks like you're all set up. Yeah. Did you forget anything? Nope. Thank all right. You. Yeah, man, no problem. Mm -hmm. Take it easy out there. All right. Thank all right. Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. Hey, if I see you around, I'm going to have another barbecue. I just don't know when. All right. Thank so, you. All right. All right. We're going to shut down and see what's up. So we're going to go from there. All right, guys. Uh... Just uh, just another day out here, so um, I'll be back soon. You can count on that. <laughs>